Review, review the script ultrasonic as if it were a movie. <laughs> <laughs> the director is sitting right to my left. <laughs> All right, so give us your name, uh, the character you play, and how you found out about a movie, the movie got cast. Okay. Uh, my name is Samuel Repsius, and I play Jonas. And uh, I found out about this film. <laughs> I like this story. It's, uh, uh, I found out about it through uh, ActorsCenter.org. And I sent in my... Uh, it's cool I tell this story. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> My, uh, my headshot and my resume, my, my headshot's not the best headshot. I, I wanted to do it cheaply. And uh, so I got a friend of mine who's not a bad photographer. Uh, actually, I probably don't want to put this on the movie. Um, and suffice it to say that <laughs> actually I'm just gonna leave that story out. Yeah. Um, so I, uh, I, I sent in my headshot and my resume and I, I, didn't, I didn't get a response. And so I sent it in. One more time, and I noticed that on the bottom of the audition page that Roe had said, no phone calls, please. But right underneath that, it gave his phone number. So I had like a little devil angel moment where I, you know, I looked to my right, I looked to my left, and, and I was like, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to call him. And I called him, and, uh, and uh, he, he graciously gave me the audition. and. Uh, and then, and so I, I showed up, and... You can tell it like it is. <laughs> I can tell it. <laughs> All right, fine. So, he, I called him, and I was like, um, Hi, my name is Samuel Repsius. I'm a local actor working in the area. I'm really interested in, in auditioning for your film. And he's like, oh, how'd you get this number? And what he was saying textually was, how'd you get this number? And what he was saying subtextually was, why the fuck did you call me? <laughs> and, um, which is true. I, you know, that's, that's perfectly valid. And, uh, but he graciously gave me the audition anyway. And uh, I went in there. And uh, was, it was really nervous, actually. When I, when I realized that, that uh, there were a lot of people there, I was like, oh my god. And I had never auditioned for a movie before. And uh, so I went in there. And uh, I auditioned. And, Call me back, and and, uh, and it's been a fantastic experience ever since. So this is your first film period, or your first time just auditioning? You, you... My, well, no, I've auditioned before, and I actually I did get cast in something, uh, but it it was more so a bunch of guys getting together just to uh, make uh, help me like a bunch of guys just. Yeah, let's let's make a movie and we'll you know we'll see what happens. And it wasn't really that. Fuck, I don't know if I want to say that either. So there are people who are gonna see this. <laughs> 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 uh, well, suffice it to say, it was an indie indie. Yeah. yeah, yeah true indie. Suffice it, no, no, suffice it to say <laughs> that pride, I'm just you know what I'm just, I'm just gonna be political. I'm just gonna be uh, diplomatic here. Uh, the project was never finished. Uh, so I, I no, it wasn't released. So this is the first. You know, right, okay, so I finished like two of my scenes, and then it was scrapped. So this is really the first. I mean, in, in all realness, this is the first film that I have uh, that I've ever done. And it's great. I've done stage like most of it, like since I was like ten. And uh, so I basically sat at home with a with a webcam. For about two weeks before the audition, or, or like ten days before the audition, and I had the sides, and I would rehearse the sides and the webcam. And yeah. So do you always look like Grizzly Adams, or is this just for the movie? This, this is for the movie. Um, uh, I I think this is I, I like the beard in terms of uh, in terms of the character and in terms of the work. I can't say that it's advantageous to every aspect of my life, <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, but I will say that creatively, you know, this is I think I think this is uh, I definitely feel like Jonas in this beard. So just give us like a, a one to two minute rundown of uh, what you think about the movie, first impressions, and um, just talk about the movie real quick. Okay. Um, well, I originally got a nine-page side, and, and uh, when I read
read it, it instantly started to give me like chills. Like the, the first read, I was like, what is this box? Like, what, like what's going on here? And I started to read it, and I realized that what he had written was, a, was a, it actually says it in the director's note. It says, remember, this is very understated, tense. And as, you know, as I was reading it, I was like, that's what this is. Like. This is a very tightly woven, well thought out script, which, I mean, I won't lie, it, uh, it surprised me because um, in, terms of, uh, in terms of film, what I have seen in short films in the area and some other things you know, that are being produced, uh, I, didn't, I didn't see that same sort of like uh, tightness in script and, and all that stuff. So I really hope that no one who knows me comes <laughs> Fucking talking about me, <laughs> like, <laughs> but yeah, no. Suffice it, to, I just keep putting my foot in my mouth here. But um, it was a very, very well thought out script. It, uh, I in instantly reacted to it. Like I sat down with the side, and I was like, I want to play that guy. And uh, yeah. Absolutely. And just a real quick uh, about your character. Um, tell us a little bit about your character and if you are planning on you know, drawing from anyone or anything or what uh, experiences. Yeah, actually, uh, Ro had me, um, had me watch the film Basquiat uh, about, the, uh, about the painter. And, uh, and I got some of the physicalness from, from, that, uh, from that film. And... Uh, a lot of it, I saw. I'm trying to think of the actor that, that influences. I can put a face to the name. What was it? I can't think of him right now. I can see him in my head, but I can't think of the name. Um, do me a favor. Repeat the question. Sure. Um, I just wanted to get your breakdown or thoughts on the character okay. and if you have, were drawing okay, yeah, from yeah. experience. So I see him, yeah, yeah. I see Jonas as, uh, and we've had conversations about this, as um, really this guy who um, has really dedicated himself to uh, a belief that he uh, grew up a uh, you know, fairly normal life. Uh, and, I mean, he was always kind of odd. He was, he was very smart. And, but then at one point in his life, he became convinced that there was an actual government conspiracy being perpetrated against the people. And he wound up dedicating uh, years of his life every day to, to find proof. And... Uh, I think when you first see him in the movie, he's at a kind of breaking point where he doesn't really know if he wants to do this anymore. Like, he believes it. He certainly believes what's happening, but he's getting nowhere, and he's at a point of, like, just frustration and desperation. And, uh, but then he, see, or he, uh, hears that, he sees that Simon, something is happening to Simon, and it instantly awakes him. I mean, I really, I think, in terms of Jonas, the story is the, uh, the uh, awakening of a, of a person, the awakening of a, of a human being. And uh, his life, he, um, he feels vindicated. And uh, by, the end of the, uh, by the end of the film, he, uh, he wins. I think so. Absolutely. Right after he gets his ass kicked. Right after he gets the shit kicked out. <laughs> but it's, it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> nice.